There are so many services in market for speech to text but assembly ai is the one i found most easy to use with good customer support and technical support in this video i will show you how to do real time speech to text with raspberry pi 4 model b 4 gb there are some old videos on this topic which didn't work for me so i thought of sharing the steps that i followed to make it work as a bonus i will also show how to add start and stop feature so that the service is used only when it's needed first thing we have to do is sign up for the api key on assembly ai on sign up you get some free credits to test the service next we need to set up things on raspberry pi we need to set up python 3.8 or above for assembly ai library to work on raspberry pi at the time of doing this video python 3.7 is available on raspbian repository so you need to compile python version 3.8 or above from the source code i have put link in the description of this video of the steps i followed to compile and install python 3.8 next we need to install some py audio libraries virtual environment I think I have to give sudo permission for this Okay I think there is some mistake in this command let me correct it okay so now virtual environment is active and now we need to go ahead and install these dependencies We need to find out the card and device number of the mic and speaker with following commands. So after running the commands we found that the card number for speaker is 2 and card number for mic is 3 So now we need to make use of this card numbers and configure mic and speaker So we need to create a a sound rc file in 
home slash pi and enter the card number for speaker in PCM output and card number for mic in PCM input like this. After creating a sound RC file, we have to go ahead and reboot our Raspberry Pi. After reboot, we can go ahead and test the recording feature. After reboot, we can go ahead and test the recording feature. Hello, hello, testing if recording is working or not. Hello, hello, testing if recording is working or not. Hello, hello, testing if recording is working or So our recording feature is working now and we can move ahead. And now we are ready to check the assembly AI sample code. So let's go ahead and copy the code. paste the code here and name of our wav file is test wav so let's change the name and let's run the script So we can see that the recording that we did is getting converted into text. Hello, hello, testing if recording is working or so assembly ai api is working perfectly now we can go ahead and check with the real time speech to text next we will use this real time async io and websocket code to make the real time speech recognition Again, I will put the link of this code in the video description. So I already have this code here. So just testing if the real time speech recognition is working or not and as I can see that it's working great.
so this real time speech code is also working great and now we need one final thing a way to start and stop the speech recognition so that it is used only when needed so in order to do so we have to install flask http framework so this is the documentation page of flask and here are the installation process i think the main installation process is pip install flask because we have already done the steps for installing virtual environment and activating it so this is our controller script and in this script basically we are running a simple uh flash server where we are using a function to start the uh my script python my uh, script python script and we are getting the process uh process number or a handler for the process and once we have the handler when there is call for stop script we are using the handler to terminate this uh my script that was running earlier so this is a very simple script of flask and i will go ahead and try to run this one and now we can go ahead and run the flash script and to run this we have the following command now we can go ahead and start the voice recognition script so you can see message script started successfully and you can see that my voice is getting recognized and now we can also go ahead and stop the script so you can see script stopped successfully and here there is no more voice recognition running we can again go ahead and test the start script so again the script has started and my voice is again getting recognized in real time let's go ahead and stop the script so this is how the real time speech recognition with raspberry pi works and uh, you can see that we have also added a start and stop feature to this real time speech recognition i hope you found this video informative if, and if you do then please give a thumbs up and share this video thank you so much for watching